Hello and welcome to another Bamboo Solutions video. Today we're going to talk about the Calendar Plus web part. So here I have an example of our Calendar Plus web part already set up on a page. What our Calendar Plus product does is it can roll up calendars and lists from anywhere you ask it to into one single location and this location also holds the permissions from wherever those lists are. So it really makes it easy for an administrator to take a lot of calendars in different places and bring them into one place without having to worry about changing the permissions on different lists of calendars. So as this is supposed to be a brief overview, I'm just going to show you a couple of different features on the front side of the web part and then I'll show you the back end really quickly. So generally people have their landing page as the month view but you have the option to change it and we have all these different options of ways to view your calendars and you can also remove or add some of these as needed so we have day work week week month with just the weekdays agenda and three months quarter and year views also over here we have a legend that you can turn on and off and you can also deselect things very quickly or select them all very quickly. We also have a search bar that searches everything. Um, we have a quick jump to today button if you find yourself navigating away and then you need to jump to today and you can also add new items to any of the calendars or lists that are on this calendar web part from the web part. It'll just open up and you'll pick the list that you want to add it to and then it'll open up in a SharePoint uh, list item to add. So that's really nice to have it all local in one place. Okay, so now we're gonna get into how we set it up. Um, in order to do this, you need to put the page in edit mode. That way, you know, only people with the ability to edit pages can edit this, right? So we keep users from editing. Um, and then you click the gear in the top right-hand corner. So here you see the different options up front, calendar, get, and list. You can select the number of items in a cell, which is three and the number of items in a multi-month view. Those are these on the end, three month, quarter, and year. This is not dynamic. So if you put 10 in here, it'll leave space for 10 items, whether there are 10 items or not. So keep that in mind. Um, if you don't want your calendar to be super huge and super long, I would keep this number relatively small. Um, moving on to data source, this is where you fill in the data source for any and all calendars and basic information here. There's customization options and then you have the URL which populates the list and you can pick from the lists and tell it which one you want it to pull in and then you do the one-to-one -one field matches, title, start date, etc. Tooltip is this little hover thingy. Um, and then category, this is the color coding that we use on the on the for the legend. Um, and then we can also, you can just pull in the raw list as is, or you can use a list view and just pull in certain information, or we even have our own where you can like build your own filter of information that you want from that list. Okay. And then you can have as many calendars as you please. You just keep scrolling down and filling out this form and you can add lists all day over and over again. Uh, calendar view, this is what I was talking about with the what's your landing page, which views do you want to see, and then we have a lot of different customization options here that you can pause and go through on your own. A legend, here we have the option to toggle on and off the legend. When you toggle it off, obviously there's nothing. Toggle it on, you can decide where it is, you can decide if you want to be able to filter with it, um, and then here you can change the order that the calendars appear. Um, I forgot to mention as well, back in the calendar, uh, I'm sorry, back in the data source, you can change the order of the categories as well, just drag and drop. That's a legend. Export, this is where you can turn on and off these buttons at the top of your calendar for your users, so whether or not they can export to any of these media formats. And then down below here, we have customization options for just the PDF export. How do you want to, how do you, how do you want the PDF to transfer over? And then the timestamp. Uh, advanced just gives you the option to customize with CSS and you can change the web part title right here. I think standard it says Calendar Plus by Bamboo Solutions. Um, so you can customize it to, you know, what your organization would like it to say. And the about will just tell you um, what version you're on and give you a link to our site if you need anything. And this initiate introduction button will give you a step-by-step -step configuration, basically of what I just said. So 
so in case the video is too long-winded you or you or you are a, a reading learner this is here for you as well all right well that's about as quick of a walkthrough as i can do with calendar plus if you want to check out the product in more detail feel free to go over to our website listed below we also have a lot of other products there and a services section that we offer. All of our products do have trials available if you're interested in, in seeing how they feel. So thank you for your time and check us out.